What's up, Warriors? I'm Katie Furlman. And I'm Ryan McLaughlin. And welcome back to another episode of Warrior Rewind. Where each and every week we'll be giving you the latest news and updates from all of our Warrior Athletics teams. And this week we are back bigger and brighter than ever. Exhibit A. Hey. It's a really bright shirt. Come on. You know what? My mom gave me this shirt, Ryan. Okay? Well, your mom gave you a very, very bright shirt. All right. Okay, let's dive into sports. Starting off the week on Thursday, February 25th, our women's basketball team traveled to Los Angeles to take on Cal State LA. Although our Warriors gave it all they had, we still fell short 59-76. to Alisa Valentine led the Warriors with 19 points and 7 rebounds, while Cassidy Sanders-Curry added 14 more for Stanislaus. Then on Saturday's senior night, our Warriors took on Cal State Dominguez Hill. Unfortunately, our women's basketball team could not hold up as we lost to the Toros 66 to 77. Raina Hardin led the team with 17 points, while Elisa Valentine had 13 of her own. Stan State will head into the postseason with 16 to 10 overall and 12 to 8 CCAA records. Congrats, ladies. Moving on to men's basketball, our Warriors also traveled to Cal State LA on Thursday to take on the Golden Eagles. In an incredibly close game, our Warriors lost to the Golden Eagles 62-68. to Kyle Gavea and Christian Bain each scored an impressive 20 points, but it was still not enough to get Stanislaus the win. Saturday, our men's basketball team finished off the season strong, going face-to-face -face with Cal State Dominguez Hills, and coming out victorious with an 80-75 to win. Kyle Gavea led the team as he finished, uh, finished the game with a career-high 25 points, adding to the win Christian Bain with 15 points, and Vondel Faniel double-doubled with 14 points and 11 rebounds. However, it was Carlson's three-pointer as the Warriors trailed 73-60 to with 6.44 left to play that sparked the final push and ultimately the comeback win for the Warriors. I just have to say this one thing. Christian Bain, that kid, he looks like an 80s movie star. Am I right? Yeah, he looks like an 80s star, but he's playing lights out. Oh, Jesus, I... he plays better than anyone in the 80s. <laughs> Yeah, yes he does. Good for you, Christian Bain. On Friday and Saturday, our softball team faced off with Cal State San Bernardino. Friday, Stanislaus took the win from the Coyotes, 4-3 in the first game, but lost the second 4-6. Caitlin McDonald doubled and homered, and Kylie Ragsdale went the distance in Game 1 for the 4-3 win. Then on Saturday's game, our softball team could not recover from the loss the day before, as they lost both games 1-3 and 4-5. Better luck next time, ladies. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, our baseball team took on Cal State East Bay. On Friday, Stan State opened up the conference season with a 3-1 win over the Pioneers. The pitching duel between Tyler Murphy and Alex Vasilla turned the game into a quick, clean game that lasted just 2 hours and 12 minutes. On Saturday, our Warriors won the first game against Cal State East Bay 8-7, but lost the second 3-7. Andrew Malone and Aldo Kutsuinopoulos both homered to lead the Warriors in Game 1. Malone went 2-for-5 and drove in two runs, as Kutswanopoulos went 2-for-3 and scored twice. Patrick Murley also added two hits, including a triple in the game. Sunday, the Warriors could not keep up with Cal State East Bay, losing 5-7. to Michael Shavaria tripled and later scored in the first inning, but the Warriors didn't pick up their second hit again until the fifth inning against East Bay. And now for the main event! It's kind of tough to call it a main event, even though you might be a little biased. If I'm not mistaken, you played tennis, right? I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, but that's besides the point, Ryan. On Saturday, our tennis team defeated Holy Names in a close score of 5-4. to four. Gianna Diamond had the decisive match at number three singles play that led to the Stan State win. Yeah! On Sunday, the 28th Sonoma State shut out Stanislaus as we lost 9-0. to zero. At number one doubles, Jayla Conway and Cassidy Farrell lost for just the second time to Division II opponents this season with an 8-6 to six score to Jensen Warren and Jordan Kearney. The number three doubles match was also close before Warriors' Annalisa Tallis and Ebony Quells dropped the 8-5 to five decision. Ladies, you'll get them next time. Well, that wraps up this segment of Warrior Rewind. As always, be sure to tune in each week to get your fill on everything sports here at Stan State. Also be sure to follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. From all of us here at Warrior Rewind, I'm Ryan McLaughlin. And I'm Katie Perlman. We'll see you next time.